series. Recently, one more great piece of news emerged amongst other Golden State Warriors news, and this one is an absolute blast. This is something we were talking about back in my free agent signing with the Golden State Warriors in the 2021 offseason video, and today we will take a closer look at the most interesting and influential player the Warriors can sign during the 2021 free agency spree this summer. We are talking about the man who dethroned the Golden State Warriors and brought the 2019 Finals MVP trophy home, Kawhi the Claw Leonard. Before we start this discussion, I would like you to play sports analytics and try to predict all the pros and cons of this potential move. Also, I would really like to hear your opinion, as I'm very curious what you, my dear subscribers, Golden State Warriors fans, and just passing by viewers, think about the dub's future. Now grab some snacks, get yourself comfortable, and enjoy this video. But before that, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell to get updates on our latest NBA content. Let's keep rolling. In the video I have mentioned before, I told you that Kawhi is currently playing for the Los Angeles Clippers and this team is a heavy favorite to re-sign the claw, considering the fact that Paul George had previously used an extension to continue playing for the Clips. But the latest rumor that the Warriors are seriously planning to pursue acquiring Kawhi this summer changes everything. We also should take into account the fact that the world of the NBA is very unpredictable and stranger things have happened. Kawhi Leonard has already surprised us in the past with his unpredictable and very influential decisions. This year, Leonard is on a good pace, scoring 26 points in his second-best season and average field goal percentage of 51.5. This season, Kawhi is still one of the best two-way players in the whole league. He stands in second place amongst greatest NBA ball thieves with 1.7 steals per game, and he sits in fifth place in the list of all-time defensive rating leaders. Leonard grabs 6.6 .6 rebounds every game, from which 5.4 boards are defensive, while the other 1.2 are offensive. Kawhi is a decent long-range shooter, making two three-pointers every game out of five attempts, giving him a 39.5 three-point percentage, playing 34.6 minutes on average. Kawhi is a very important piece in the Los Angeles Clippers game, with a decent 7.9 plus-minus rating. Let's now discuss what are the biggest pros of the Golden State Warriors acquiring the claw. Number 1. Kawhi Leonard would multiply the efficiency of the Golden State Warriors defensive game immediately, thus covering the dub's biggest weakness. His wingspan and fundamentals are what help him to be a prominent defender. Add to this his tremendous basketball IQ and the trademark claws, which are the enormous palms of Leonard which give him an upper hand, pun intended, in stealing and blocking the ball. Huge palms are something his heirness Michael Jordan himself had in his arsenal back in the day, and while it might not seem like a big deal, it really is a very dangerous instrument to add to a player's skill set. No passing lane is safe while Kawhi is on the court, and he was once considered one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. Right at the moment, Leonard's lateral quickness has regressed a bit after his knee issues, but his post defense is getting only better with added frame and game maturity. Number 2. The Silent Assassin has one more thing that his icon MJ had back then, an outstanding mid-range game. Kawhi still excels in this overlooked part of basketball. Shooting mid-range shots is what Leonard does frequently and very efficiently. He posts up people, does pull-up shots, fadeaway shots, basically any shots needed for the win. The Warriors are known for their long range, but Kawhi brings even more versatility to the team with his truly prominent mid-range jumper. A lot of fans describe the Claw's play style as the modified version of Kobe and Michael Jordan's game, which makes him a force to be reckoned with. Number 3. The art of a mid-range jumper is something the league hasn't paid attention to. Today it is all about layups, dunks, and threes. A lot of threes. And it wouldn't be fair to say that Kawhi can't do that either. 
Kawhi is in his second best season three-point shooting wise and he is simply nailing it for the men of his size. He is shooting 39.5% from the line and would fit very well into the Golden Squad with the greatest shooter duo in the history of the league. That brings even more spacing to the dubs with the ability to score points in the post or in tough positions from the mid-range. Number 4. Kawhi Leonard is exactly what the Warriors should be looking for. A great two-way player with huge playoff experience and an imposing veteran presence. Kawhi, Steph Curry, Green, and a healthy Clay is a very scary picture which gives me the vibes of the unbeatable 2017 Warriors team. Signing Leonard is the quick fix I have been talking about in my previous videos about the Golden State Warriors' future, and oh boy, this one is a 100% winner. The aforementioned squad has no chance not to enter next year's title picture. Period. Now we will talk about the negatives of such a move, and we'll try to digest the possible outcomes of this potential signing. Number 1. Cap Space Issues the Golden State Warriors are one of the richest franchises in the NBA. However, rich stays rich only if he spends his money cleverly. Even considering the possibility of a Wiggins trade plus Kelly Oubre Jr. signing with another team, Golden State still would find themselves in a tough situation with the Steph Curry Supermax re-signing on the way. Green's contract is still huge, and there are still at least 13 mouths to feed in the roster. The only thing the Dubs can do is pull off a sign-in trade as they did with the Nets when Kevin Durant left and D'Angelo Russell joined the team. Such a move would almost certainly see the departure of Andrew Wiggins, but could also see others moving on, including James Wiseman. Given the threat of Leonard walking to another team for nothing, the asking price from the Clippers would be far inferior to a normal, contracted situation. Number 2. One word. Super teams. Yes, once again, one of the biggest can't make any sense competition-wise. The Nets and the Lakers are the favorites for this year's finals, and every single fan knows that. Well-built teams with great chemistry are still one or two star players away from taking the biggest NBA prize home, and that is just a pity. Remember when Kawhi Leonard brought the title to Toronto? It was one of the most unexpected moments in recent NBA history, and the league should be just like that. Competitive, versatile, and fun to watch. Number 3. Over-reliance on stars is what dropped the Warriors franchise from dominance back in 2019. Superstars are humans too, even though I simply cannot believe that fact sometimes when watching Curry, LeBron, and others play, but they are. And if you don't give them enough rest and put too much stress on them, they will disappoint you at some point. Kawhi Leonard to the Golden State Warriors is something that's fun to talk about and what I'd absolutely love to see. But I'm also a basketball fan in general, and I like competitiveness over anything else in sports, and I don't appreciate ring chasing as a phenomenon. But what do you think? What is your opinion on super teams? What are the odds for Golden State to sign Kawhi? Do you think that Leonard would be a great fit for the dubs? If yes, tell us the way the Warriors may obtain this player, and what is your biggest dream trade as a Warriors fan? Tell us what you think in the comments down below, and once again make sure to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button to catch up with the best NBA content. If you like this video, make sure to watch my other videos about recent NBA news. Thanks for watching.